Today we're going over P-R-O-C-A-M-P and I spell it out because I don't want to mispronounce another word in these videos. So proc amp is the last effect under effects, adjust, video effects, you find proc amp. You drag that bad boy onto your clip and it pops up in your effect panel. So once you have proc amp on your clip, you can mess with a few different sliders. So you have saturation, hue, brightness, you have split screen, which is basically an overlay that shows you before and after of your clip. And then you can set it to the percentage that you wanna see. So you can see 25 of your clip after 75 before. This effect doesn't really add anything new that Premiere doesn't already have. It's basically a different way to get to these effects. While this isn't a completely useful effect, there are some kind of cool things you can do with it. So for instance, if you go on your hue, you can actually keyframe the transformation of it and your hue slider goes indefinitely. So you can do a kind of cool color changing effect on everything. Proc amp isn't really a useful effect on its own. There are things you can use in it, but it's not, it shouldn't necessarily be something you go to. However, the history behind it is actually pretty cool. So proc amp in Adobe Premiere is actually an emulation of a physical process amplifier. It's used in broadcast settings for broadcast cameras to auto adjust the camera in real time. So if you're shooting a television show, you wanna have your camera auto adjust for things like noise and contrast in live time because you literally can't affect it afterwards because it's already gone. The emulation of Proc Amp is used in not only editing softwares, but it's also built into media viewers like VLC to auto correct while you're watching. So all in all, like most of the effects in the adjust panel, just don't use them. There's way better ways to get what you want accomplished in Premiere and they're continuously making it easier and easier for editors. We'll get to the other ways that we would recommend to use it, but for now we're just going effect by effect and even if there's uh, probably six blurs coming up, there'll be a video for each one and I'll love it. That video was great, Tyler, you did a great job. You're doing great with all these videos. You're Subscribe.